Well, the problem is the child is growing up in an environment, and the environment has a culture, it has a lot of injuries. You look at the USA environment, for example, and I don't mean to pick on you because of the USA, but it's very similar here in Australia as well, right? You look at how much in harmony way we are with our environment for a start. How much harmony do we have with our environment, really? We wreck our environment, don't we? Really. Look, there's very few US cities you can fly over and see the ground clearly. Right? When you look up to the stars at night, you don't see many of them in a city, do you? Because we wreck the environment. There's so many things that we do, and our children are experiencing all of these things that are wrong with the world from the moment they start experiencing the world. So they also become out of harmony, you know, as they grow as well, because they're soaking in all of the emotion. All of you pay taxes, yes? Yeah. None of you have tried to not pay taxes. Well, isn't tax a distortion of the reality? Really? When, when I say distortion of the reality, um, you don't need to pay tax, actually. There is another way that you could actually build roads and all those things. But do you really want to build roads? Is, are roads in harmony with the environment? So here we get some challenging things. Do you think, do you think God wants you to build a road and knock down a heap of trees and build a road? What do you think? Like, do you think God wants you to kill food, kill animals? Do you think? Well, do you, have, do you think you can be in harmony with divine love and do it? No. See, a lot of times we feel we might be, you know, we're going to have to determine whether God is telling us something or not, aren't we, at some stage, right? So that can be an individual thing. That's not a universal thing. God's truth is absolute. So there has to be a, that universe. There's always a, there is always an absolute truth. And I can guarantee you there is always an absolute truth about almost any question you can ask. The key is how to discover it. Right? So you know how we often hear the thing, oh, it's your truth, that's my truth. In your minds at the moment, you're probably thinking this is the way that it's truth, right? <laughs> <laughs> and often that's the case, right? We feel that it's somebody else's truth. But I can guarantee to you that when you connect to God, you will get to a point at some point in your progression that you will no longer feel like you can eat meat anymore, for example. And you will feel every single time you do it a disconnection with God. Does that make sense? Now, while you may not believe that, that now that's fine. Right? But, I, but I'm, I know from my own experience that every single time I've ever eaten meat, there's an instant disconnection with, with the flow of love. Right? Does that make sense? Now, if you choose to lie, just to lie, I can guarantee you, you'll get so sensitive in your soul at some point that when you lie, you'll disconnect with God. Right? Guaranteed to you this will happen. Now, when it happens will depend on how much love is in the soul. Does that make sense? And, and you'll feel that connection flow. But you will find that whenever you lie, whatever reason, even if you think it's a good reason, right, you'll find there'll be a disconnection. You'll find there's a time whenever you're angry, you'll feel the disconnection with God. Whenever you are sad, you'll feel the disconnection with God. You will feel these things because none of these things are in harmony with being at one with God. Does that make sense? Do you think God gets sad? If God got sad, <laughs> we're in trouble, right? We have to go through all that experiencing it to get rid of it. I'm not saying don't experience it. Does that make sense? So I'm saying that when we are finished experiencing these emotions, we will get to a condition where we no longer feel sad. You'll get to a condition where you no longer feel angry ever again. No matter what anybody does to you, you still will not feel angry. Right? You will get to that condition at some point in the progression of the divine love path. You will get to that condition. And when you do, any time you feel even just a tinge of sadness if you're on the earth, something happened, you'll feel the disconnection and you'll have to go within and find out what's happening within your soul 
that's caused that. Does that make sense? But you will get to a point when you're run with God that you won't ever feel sadness again. On earth, you can do this. Uh, I know it might sound like way out there, right? But on earth, you can do this. 